Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up OBS Studio's replay buffer feature. Before you get started, um, I just want to note that this video is for like advanced users. If you don't know how to use OBS, just don't follow the video please because I won't be able to help you. And you will also need to be on OBS 17.0, this is the latest version as of today. And this was released on Christmas. You will also need to have VLC installed. VLC allows you to use VLC player to play videos inside OBS. Once you have that installed, you will have a VLC source right here. Once you have all of that set up, you're good to go. You can continue with the tutorial. So now go to settings and under output, make sure we are on output mode simple. Replay buffer currently only exists on simple. It will be added to advanced later. You'll want to check enable replay buffer and set the amount of time you want the replay buffer to exist. So if you have it on 20 seconds, the clip will be 20 seconds when you use the replay buffer. You'll also want your recording path already set and just leave it on FLV because VLC can play FLV video and it's lighter. Next, you want to go to Advanced, and under Recording, set the file formatting. It will be dates and stuff like that. Set it to just a name you can remember that's simple, like Recording 1 or even just Recording. Now keep in mind, this will do it if you also use the Record feature, so this is purely for the Replay Buffer. I'm also going to remove the Replay Buffer prefix. Well, I guess you could leave it, but I'm going to remove it for this video just to make it simpler. You could leave replay on there as long as you have overwrite if file exists, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to remove it. And make sure to always press apply. Then go to hotkeys and under replay buffer, set your replay buffer hotkey. I'm using my number pad. You can use whatever works best. You can also set a start replay buffer and stop in case you don't want it to be on. If you have plenty of memory on your computer, um, you can just leave it on pretty much most of the time, but in case you want to also turn it off, you can do that. Okay, so now I have all of that configured. So for the initial setup, you know, you want to have your game up, you see I can move around and all that. And then you'll want to have a second scene for your replays. Now we haven't generated our file yet. So we need to start our replay buffer and just press your replay buffer hotkey. Okay, cool. I did some moves, replay buffer. And now it is generated in my folder. You see I have my recording file. And then I'm going to go into my replay scene and add my VLC video source and then add my file, which is under my videos recording. And I can stretch it, fit it however you need to. Now worth noting the video is going to play the audio through OBS. So you have to have it on your correct output and all that but i'm not going to deal with that you can figure that out later so now we have our replay scene set up here i can even add a i can add cool text that just says replay so see it's obviously a replay and now what you can do is since we have replay buffer on, I can, you know, do an awesome combo replay buffer by pressing my key. And then, well, it's replaying me also placing the text, but um, if you do it at the right time, it will work. You have to remember it's the last 20 seconds. So it works similar to shadow play. Okay, so one thing worth noting is if you try to do it too quickly in OBS, the file doesn't have enough time to write and it won't work correctly and it will replay your last 
replay. So you want to do like, you know, your combo and then now I can press replay. After pressing it, wait a few seconds. Now, if I go in here, it will replay the last 20 seconds. You might want to set it to a tighter time if you notice you're having issues, but the pressing of the hotkey will take some time for it to overwrite. What you can also do is if you want like a visual cue, is if you have the folder up and you go into like your game scene, do your combo, and then press your replay buffer. You'll notice the, well, it was kind of hard to notice there because he's still standing there, but the thumbnail would of course change a little bit. Like if I do that and then I press my replay. See, it's different. It's the last, the start of the last 20 seconds. And you can also use that as kind of a visual cue. And then you can always just go and play your replay. Now, I'm not very good at setting this up, but I believe this is very good for, you know, if you're running fighting game tournaments or running Counter-Strike really anything that just has some like a highlight moment and you can do this live if you have your hotkeys all set up you can set up hotkeys to change these scenes you could have a cool fade in effect which you can do like through this so there it has like a cool fade in and all that and i hope this helped i know this tutorial was kind of like butchered a bit and i just kind of talked but um this can be hard for people to understand and it's probably best for me to just kind of go through the motions to help people figure it out. So I hope this helped. Um, again, this is advanced. So as long as you're not like asking me basic OBS questions, let me know if you need any extra help and I can maybe figure it out for you. And have a good day. Peace.